The Deer Hunter, directed and produced by Michael Cimino in 1978, details the lives of three steel workers before, during, and after the Vietnam War. It stars an A-list cast of Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken, John Cazale, John Savage, and Meryl Streep. Now let me preface this review by saying that The Deer Hunter is one of my all-time favorite films, so you can expect some favoritism, but that doesn't mean I'll exempt the movie of legitimate criticisms. And I'll say again exactly what I said in my The Holy Mountain review. I don't believe in perfect movies because they just do not exist. Saying that there is such thing for a perfect movie for me means that there is such thing as a perfect human being. There is no such thing because it is impossible. Now on with the review, probably the best aspects of this film is the direction, the aesthetic, and editing, all done by people who are masters in their field. The film's cinematographer, Vilmo Sigmund, manages to capture everything so beautifully on celluloid. And by that, I mean he could capture everything from wide, beautiful, natural vistas to an elaborate and crowded wedding reception. There is always some scenery to chew on in this movie, whether it be the beautiful mountain ranges or the hellhole of Vietnam. Peter Zinner's editing, unlike standard service editing, follows the emotion of the moment, cutting whenever necessary for the sake of the emotion and rhythm instead of cutting just for the sake of cutting. And the certain types of scenes that I'm describing are most evident during the Vietnam sequences, especially during the famous Russian roulette scenes. And if you really want to see what I'm talking about, wait till the end of the video and I'll show you an excerpt. And I think this is one of the best edited movies ever. Now the direction of Michael Cimino may come off as pretentious to some, and in a few isolated moments it does come off as pretentious. Like really pretentious, but depending on who you are and what your tastes are, you might not notice or might not care. And for me, some of those moments kind of stuck out like a sore thumb, but for most of the time, I didn't care. But other than isolated moments like that, the direction remains unique and epic. The acting from Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken, John Cazale, and Meryl Streep is also epic and spot on. Now in terms of this movie, I almost feel obligated to say that just because it has one third of the movie taking place in Vietnam doesn't mean that you should expect a movie like Saving Private Ryan or Platoon. It's more or less a movie that take, happens to take place in Vietnam rather than be about Vietnam. Similar to Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now, a movie that told a story ju that just happened to be in Vietnam. It's a character movie, so don't be upset and complain that the wedding scene takes 12 days to finish or they return from Vietnam halfway through the movie. And though I would have to agree with some people that the film slows down after they return home from Vietnam, but I believe that this is simply by the fault of design not because the film suddenly becomes devoid of substance and scenery. To wrap up my thoughts, I'd say watch it. It may or may not come off as pretentious depending on what you like, but overall, I would rate The Deer Hunter 5 out of 5 stars.